Hello and welcome to the show. Unfortunately, there is no GTA 5 versus the army today. I've been having a lot of problems, for whatever reason, why GTA 5 has decided to have issues with mods, uh, and I've kind of given up with it for now. However, I do still want to be, well, trying to maybe not run away from the army, but run away from the police. And, well, I have this rather old game, Smuggler's Run. I was just browsing through old kind of driving games, racing games, came across this one, I'd never heard of it before, never seen it before, but it looked interesting. So I figured I would give it a go. I've done the first few missions, got a lot of the early stuff, fairly sort of basic tutorial things. We're going to jump into mission seven of what a choice of a buggy or an SUV. Um, I think this is a little bit of a longer mission. I think we're going to want to take the slightly stronger the stronger vehicle as the police are going to be around bumping into me and generally causing trouble. So that's kind of the, the circle points on the map are the pickup points, the triangles are where we've got to drop off the various bits and pieces. We've got to try and do the three of three drop offs and then run away to <laughs> complete it. Yeah, it's an an interesting Interesting game. The handling, there's the very interesting bouncy physics going on that I hope we will be able <laughs> to... I have I have no doubt it'll bounce the cars around in all sorts of weird ways. Uh, we've already lost the front bumper. It's also the vehicles have got regenerating health, which is peculiar for a driving game, but there we go. Ooh, don't roll it immediately. Vehicles can roll. I have rolled already ooh, a number of times. The SUV barely makes any noise, so it's quite difficult to hear when you're supposed to be changing gears. So you've actually got to sort of pay attention to the uh, speedo. The buggy makes an awful racket, and you, you definitely know when you need to be changing gear in that. Oh, crap! I did not realise there was a river there. Quite in that manner. Well, we've rolled it immediately. That's taken not very long. Not, not, not very long at all. Uh, we're getting nudged by... Police vehicle. Don't mind me, camper van. Ah, oh, I was trying to get cut kind of cross in front of it and have the police go. No, I, st I do not need any assistance. I do not need any assistance. I'm perfectly capable of driving forward myself. Uh, their SUVs are faster than mine. Okay, we still got that circuit board. Oh, we're getting really, really bullied. Um, oh, I, I think we need an upgrade in this. This police SUVs are stupid fast, and they're going to follow me up the side of a mountain. I do not know. Oh, yeah, they are still following me around this mountain. Bloody hell. They do better than GTA 5 police do for following me about place. Well, that one there has got a little bit lost. Okay, now we need to go this way. Oh, don't land on your side. Ah, oh, bouncing. There we go. Oi. How is he still there? How has my chucking the vehicle around a mountain not worked in losing him? I tried to put him in a tree. Uh, time is right. Oh, crap. I forgot we've got time limit going on here. Um, I was busy trying to get myself a clean break from the two police SUVs coming this way. Completely forgot that in true kind of classic arcade game style, there is a time limit on it. Bugger! Right, so we can't prat around that much. Nah. <laughs> police ended up upside down. I mean, that's something. I rolled, police rolled. That is generally the sign of a good video. However, we completely and utterly failed our objective here, so we're going to try again. I will prat around less kind of exploring wise yeah the police are ridiculously tough on here from what I have seen they don't really lose sight of you uh, at all it's very very difficult to, uh, to sort of properly lose them so you kind of just got to deal with having them chasing you right so dodge out of the way of him initially we'll jump nice and straight into the river this time still lost a bit of the front of the car but that's that's fine no no major problem with that fourth gear probably would be a good idea I want that truck that would perhaps Give me a better chance of survival against these pesky police cars. I think we're further ahead of them than we are, were last time around, so we will get that. Ooh. Things went a little bit peculiar there. I'm not quite sure what happened, but there we go. Right, jump across the river. Try and use the speed of the SUV. Very nearly drown the SUV. I don't know if you can drown vehicles in here, but never mind. Police are still coming. Go away, please. I need a lot more speed in this. Actually, I think we didn't really want to cross the river because I think we want to go across this way, don't we? Uh, good thing this is really, really strong, although police cars are just as strong as mine. 
And a little bit further back. A little bit further back. The water is useful. That is what we shall... Oh, bugger. That's not useful. That's not useful. That's not useful. Where's some gears? There we go. Okay. We kind of made it into that one, at least. Oh, no, no, no. Don't roll over. Don't roll over. Piss. Gears. Uh, can we... Self right there we go we can oh wow bloody hell they are as kamikaze as the GTA 5 army are that much is for sure we have a minute to get this to its destination we nearly got wiped out by the the camper van is just as much of a fear as the uh, police vehicles I think I've now got like three of them giving chase you will notice it is a relatively fast um, refilling health bar but it doesn't take much just take like, so a couple of heavy hits especially if you get wedged in a corner Oop, or a roll for the uh, police to murder you or just carry me along. You know, that's distinctly possible. Damage warning. <laughs> I had to say something, didn't I? I had to say something about the damage. Yeah, it is a relatively quick uh, to refill. However, you get things wrong and the police can muller you incredibly quickly. So, yeah. The vehicles do like to shed body panels as they go quite quite readily. They're not really... Ooh, okay, we're going for a front flip. It's fine. That's what I meant to do. Honestly. Um, I don't know why you would think anything else. And to be honest, it's me, so it could well be the case that I was genuinely meaning to front flip across there. But yes, the vehicles like to shed their body work. Not very well put together. These... Uh, smuggling vehicles. In fact, they're incredibly distinctive. I would have thought if you were wanting to smuggling stuff, you wouldn't have a bright red SUV with your logo on it. That does kind of give everything away. I'm also having so much more trouble staying... <laughs> Typical, I've started filming. I'm now having so much more trouble staying on all four wheels than I ever did uh, in the kind of testing, making sure the game was working. Well, I managed to shunt the big old truck along uh, with us a little bit. We've got the circuit board, we're going to get turned around. Oh, is that a ute? We've got a ute police vehicle. I'll remember the look behind button eventually. Uh, we have, I think, got a ute police vehicle giving chase. Uh oh, uh oh. Or it could have just been an SUV that's lost kind of the top of the top of the back part of the roof, I guess. Oh, God. I am barely keeping this thing under control at the moment. Fortunately, the police have momentarily buggered off. So speed our way across the river. That was nice. That was good. Time is running out, but we've scored there. Uh, I don't know if the time carries over or whether it is reset between these. I'm not 100% sure. I don't even know why I bother going around all the way there because we've just got to turn it back again. I need to cross the river rather than, I think, crossing the road. But never mind. Uh, kind of sort of... Whenever there's sort of bumpy bits in the road, that's when you'll see odd physics going on from certainly the player-controlled vehicle. I don't know about the AI cars. Uh-oh, that's not good. That's not good. Although we have confused the police vehicles almost just as much. There's another one coming this way. Where are we going? Uh, okay, we've got a little bit of a straight. I'm hoping... Oh, God, there's a roadblock up there. I don't know if they have spike strips. I don't think so, but equally I don't know. There's some... Oh, Sorry, there was someone standing in the middle of the road. I was kind of curious. And yes, yes, you can indeed run them over. They're not the first person I've seen of saw animals around the place but I haven't seen actual human beings around and the first one I see I run over that's uh, well done me uh, I think that's it in terms of stuff delivered I think the next thing to get to is just the escape point and it doesn't matter if the police are still following you as long as you've got there which I think we are going to do Oopsie, wrong way oh no there's another one to go oh piss we've got like five six police vehicles now following us uh, that, that's not so good uh, do I want to be sticking? Yeah, kind of do want to be sticking on the road. Oh, no, wait. Idea. Idea, 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 idea. Jump into the river. Oh, kamikaze police cars again. Gears, gears, gears. Okay, gears are not quite working. Um, well, gears are working. It's just not getting me enough speed. So the river does slow us down a fair amount. I'm not quite sure why this is a drop-off point in the middle of a river. Doesn't matter, though, because I've completed it, even with there being two police cars in shot. That counts as a completion. <laughs> I will take it. We got some monies, and I'm hoping we, we got a great grade. Well done. Thank you. Thank you for that. We completed it. Either way. Seems Bloody like army. Not army. Police. Getting in the way. Uh, shall we have a go with the buggy for this? I'm glad I did go for that SUV. The buggy is a little bit better handling, a little bit quicker perhaps, but uh, we got rather bullied by the police vehicles in that one. Okay, so we are starting off at the White Triangle. I don't know if some of these missions as we go further on might have a 
kind of pick your own route, so which ones to pick up to drop off at which points, or whether they're always going to be directing us through. As I said, I hadn't heard of this game until a couple of weeks ago when, <laughs> when I got it, and... Yeah, some of you might have massive nostalgia for this one. Unfortunately, not so much for me. I'm just kind of curious. A lot of the time when it comes to classic games, you get a lot more you get a lot more interesting stuff. There are a lot more risks were taken. Or back when game development didn't cost such a horrendously huge amount, a lot more risks and a lot more interesting games were created because of it. And this sort of thing is um, something a little bit different. With, uh, I am hoping for... I have seen a couple of other sort of mission types rather than just a pick up and... Oh, Bugger. Okay, well, we're going to go for a backflip. Uh, rather than just pick up and delivery missions, uh, there are. It was quite an interesting sort of capture the flag style game mode against the AIs. Uh, now we've got a police car immediately giving chase. I have to say that the AIs were fairly intelligent in that game mode. Oh, I've lost my spare tyre. Well, that's no good. Ah, no, go away. Go away. I haven't lost the police car. Yeah, the AIs are. Stop trying to climb on top of my buggy. That is not fair in any way. Oh, there goes more bodywork. Um, yeah, they're, they're half decent, actually. Especially, they've got the AI down for following you. They, they do not bugger off easily. And that does make some of the other game modes quite interesting. That the flag, will capture the flag, capture the whatever it was, count contraband. Um, yeah, made it interesting because the AIs could actually follow you and, and chase you down and so on. I'm hoping we'll come across one of them. I'm just going to swerve. I'm doing the GTA 5 tactic of a swerve so the car behind can't ram you. I'm not sure whether it's going to work, but there we go. Policeman roll over. Bugger. Disappointing. Ah, another police vehicle over. That police vehicle looked like it was already missing body parts and I hadn't even come to this area before. So I'm not sure quite what they get up to with their police cars, but never mind. Um, ooh, hello. Uh, we're, have they got roll cages going on? They're like full race prepared trophy trucks almost they are ooh, uh, hello don't mind me don't mind me get out of the way so the animals well you got out of the way of me you did not get out of the way of the police car as it went to orbit climb buggy oh no that's better at climbing yeah they're like fully stripped out suvs i've got chasing me down i i, I think that that is um a little bit unfair police having racing vehicles like to be fair i've kind of got a racing vehicle here in some way I seem to have lost sound of my buggy, unfortunately, but eh, there we go. Um, it was obnoxiously loud previous. Now I can just hear sirens more than I can hear my own vehicle, so I'm kind of guessworking with the... Whoa! No! No! Ah! We're being quite... I definitely call cheating on that one. The speed at which that car got turned. That's got mega tyre. I don't even know... <laughs> I was going to say it got sort of full-on slicks, but it's on dirt, so I don't know. Whatever is the mega, mega -ish of off-road tyres that Jeep must have. To have got turned like that. I do see another police vehicle heading my way. We can sort of jump clear of that. Ow! Thank you. Thank you for that. Amazingly, the buggy is holding up quite well from all of this punishment. It got squished by an SUV. It's still okay. Still functioning. We're about to get back to full health. That's going to have killed us, though. Oh, two wheels fell off something. I don't know if they came off of me. We're under arrest. Oh. Um, yeah, I don't know if in that crash, if a police car lost wheels. I don't know if they can. Definitely two wheels pinged off of something. But uh, that we'll probably find out inevitably next time we get mullered. Yeah, I tried to climb up a hill and we got caught on a wall. And that, well, very much spells the end for me. Ah, right. Let us try again. Unfortunately, there does not really seem to be like a checkpoint system going on in here. Jump the camper, jump the camper. Woohoo! This time, no uh, was it face plants or backflip? Either way, we crashed into the ground last time doing that jump. This time we cleared a camper van and we're still in fully working order without smacking the car about too much. But we've still got our spare wheel for now. We lost part of the front. I think that was the bonnet again. I don't know why they bother. There's no point putting them on. They're, they fall off almost immediately in all of this. That's the wrong button. I, it's a slightly, slightly different control scheme than I'm used to in some ways. I'm using the uh, left... Uh, L1 and L2 buttons to change gear. We have uh, R1 as bring up the map and R2 as look behind. So, yeah, it's an odd control scheme for me. I'm trying my best to remember it all, but I'm probably not going to. Right, animals, you should probably get out of the way pretty quickly. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Land it. Come on, this will be an amazing stunt if we pull this off. Or we could break ourselves completely. Uh, whoa. No, I'm I'm not broken yet, although we are going to be broken very quickly. Oh, go! Okay, we've managed to turn around and confuse them. Use the confusion to your advantage, buggy. Yes, we've stopped smoking. These helpful, helpful, safe repairing engines. I'm going to throw it away, though, because I'm going to roll down the next hill. Oh, piss. 
<laughs> Look at the uh, toe we've got going on that rear left wheel. That is impressive. Right, I've got to be, I think, a little bit more in, in the carefuls of uh, going off these this terrain too much. Oh, Christ, like so, really. It, it's, it's taking shortcuts, yes, but I keep breaking myself. There's no in-air car control for me to be worried about. That's a big wheelie. Uh, going off from the buggy. Yeah, no in-air in car control for me to try and rescue it. Oh, we're not going to be able to jump the camper this time around. Disappointing. Uh, we are going to probably go for a backflip. No, no, we landed it. Just landed it pretty much on the frame, and we've lost our spare wheel again. Yeah, I mean, a lot of this is going to be done off-road. It's about sort of what you can and, and can't really get away with. That's going to be a ouchies. Uh, surprisingly, that didn't do anywhere near as much damage as I thought it was. I guess we kind of just landed on the rock and, and stopped. We didn't tumble and roll our way down a hill, and the police vehicle is nowhere really near to get involved. There's only one of them as well to uh, kind of properly get involved in pushing me around. Now, we want to be... We've got to take all of these routes so quickly. That's kind of part of the difficulty in this. Uh-oh. Okay, now we're fine. No, we're not fine because there's a police car directly behind us. Let's head this way or let's not. Still a police car directly behind us. Okay. <laughs> now, it's, it's too clever to try and fool for the uh, swerving around trick. And actually having none of it. Now, if I go to try and stick to this road a little bit better... Uh-oh. I don't think it's going to work, you know. I don't think sticking to the road is going to work. Hello. I think we went underneath the police car. If it works, I will I will not complain. I will not complain about it whatsoever. Right. Oh, uh, going to get ping-ponged around by them, I fear. Uh, try and make a corner. Whoa, that's a big drop away that I was not expecting. Hey, okay, we've got a package. Um, I'll crack this police car around the corner. We really... I need to talk to somebody about beefing up my buggy here. If we're, if we're going to get away from the, uh, God, from the police. Look at the, they can corner better than me and have more speed than me. So the only way I can get away is by being creative. And then by being creative, there's a very, very high possibility of me rolling over. But then there's normal hype. No, stop climbing on me, for God's sake. There's a high probability of me rolling over just driving something. But uh, when I've got to be creative... Oh, I don't know which way you're going. Well, I've taken off your bonnet. Does that give me some points? Ah, the ute's back. Oh, bugger. No, ute's going to kill me. Why? Why would you do that? I've been so supportive of ute kind. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. No, release, release, release my buggy. Go! Yes! Somehow I survived that. I probably shouldn't have. My wheel is wobbling around. If that could hurry up and auto repair itself, that would be lovely. There we go. Thank you. God damn, this has got some info. I might not have a very fast buggy, or a particularly strong buggy, but I tell you what, the auto repair on this is impressive. <laughs> right, another drop-off point. Where did they come from? Dear God, uh, they just appeared from nowhere. Uh, I'm thinking the SUV might be a better choice. I will be honest here, I think the SUV might might fare better slightly out here. The buggy might turn better, but I think the SUV is a bit quicker in a straight line, and it is stronger, and that is probably... I don't know if it's quicker in a straight line, actually. Oh, there's that person standing in the middle of the road, as you do. Oh, that's a big, big drop. Okay, we're fine. Please let this be the finish. Please let it be over here. Come on! Yes! We completed the mission! Oh, these are tough. The, the early couple of missions that I played were not particularly exciting or challenging. All of a sudden, I have got quite the, really bloody tough. Okay, what are we going to be doing up next? I think it is just a simple pick up some more. Ah, oh, no, this is a team game. I like team games. Team games are good fun. Right, I want an SUV. We haven't unlocked anything else. We'll have one teammate in a buggy. We'll have the other one in an SUV as well. They're a bit stronger. They're going to survive a little bit more. And keeping it in the manual. We are we're gonna wait and see actually. What can we do? I was assuming it was gonna be the same sort of capture the kind of capture the flag, capture the the object game, but it might work a little bit different. We probably won't have to worry about police in this, but I don't really know. We are going to a slightly different part of the map, I think. The previous ones we started down in the kind of lower left hand corner. This one's yeah, taking place in a slightly different area. I believe there are four different areas for these. Um, I believe there's a snowy area and uh, deserty bits and so on. But there's a decent amount of places to actually sort of go and explore. They're not the largest of areas, no, but you know, you've got to bear in mind it is a relatively old game, this one. Right, so they've picked up the contraband. The buggy's just been murdered. They've got a monster truck. 
That's not fair. I've rolled one of them. So that's a bonus point for me, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if it quite works like that. Oh, there are police. Joy. Oh, brakes, 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 brakes. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> okay. Figured out how to, uh, how, to, how to confuse, how to beat the AI. Just slam on your brakes and then it is all good. Um... Right, so they've got a trophy truck, a monster truck, and something else. Oh, I'm going to take you out over there. Oh, God, no opponent. Opponent, give me the contraband. Aerial attack! Yes, it worked! Okay, they are the, that is the best steal I will probably ever do on this game. That much is for sure. I wonder what happens if the police crash into me while I have the contraband. Do the police have it and have to try and take it back to the police station? That'd be kind of cool if they did. Oh, bugger, I'm being chased by a mon- That is not the sight that you want to have behind you. Um, right. So it looks like this one here, uh, kind of drop-off points are fixed. The previous game I played, they moved around. This does look like they are, certainly the last two have been delivered to the same place. So there we go. No, they have moved again. So that's, all right. Well, I lied about that. Oh, crap, 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 crap. I'm in the air. Can't do anything to swerve out of the way of that thing. There's, oh, there's another one. Okay. Uh, there's something upside down that I think is just a random AI sort of civilian car. It does look to be the case. Uh, we careful before we roll it. Uh, we're, the police aren't actually bothering us too much in this one, in fact, which is nice. I say that, and I've got one police car on me. I guess there's quite a lot of vehicles for them to chase after, and they might well get distracted. My team have been quite useless this time out. Not really seen them do, well, anything, quite frankly. Uh, there's a police car behind me. Oh, bugger. No, we're fine. We're fine. There's, oh, there's some more people. This is a very, very quiet town. I think. It's probably a good thing considering all of the racing. Ah! A teammate's done something useful, I take it back. Considering all of the racing and carnage that is going on, probably quite useful that it is a quiet town. Um, right, there's going to be a kerfuffle over here because all of Green Team are arriving. I shall be defense! You can work together. The AI teammates probably won't really be much good in defense of you, but you can choose to defend the... Ah, I think the police are only going after the guy with the contraband. So they don't really care about me. Oh, they also don't pick up the contraband. So that's useful. Ah, now, now they're angry at me, probably, for crashing into them. Uh, no, you've stolen that from him. I will take that back off of you. Thank you. You can spin around wildly trying to get it. Well, I was going to let my teammate score, but he, he fluffed it up at the end there. So we will, we will take that. I don't know if I explode if I respawn or if I just fail the mission and have to start again, which at this point I'd be quite annoyed by, so let's try and not explode. I think we've got one police car on us, but never mind. Oh, jump. Uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, did that police car just lose a wheel? It looked like it lost a wheel, but I'm not sure. No opponent. Oh, bugger. You, you stopped really quickly and caught me out. No, don't go for me. Go for the bloody green truck. Go for the green truck, please. Thank you. Well, thank you, teammate. I'll take that off you, because I'm probably going to be a little bit more reliable in terms of getting it to the destination. Uh-oh. Um... Uh, police, if you could be my rear gunner and stop the green team's vehicles from heading this way, I would be happy with that. Um, thank you. I think they've all got a little bit confused in that climb up the mountain. I've got confused with gears again. So busy with... Oh, <laughs> I saw that in the background, rolling off of one of the rocks. We missed the bloody... No. Crap, 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 crap. Accelerate, accelerate, because there's flying everything coming towards you. Mission complete. Somebody else has lost a wheel. I don't know where they're coming from. But not one of mine. That's the important part. <laughs> that was one of the team games. Uh, they are quite good. Quite good fun. Quite entertaining. Uh, I think this is probably going to be the final mission for this area, possibly. I'm sticking with an, with an SUV. I think they're a little bit better choice in all of this. We're going to have one crack at this one. See if I can do it first time out. God knows how difficult it's going to be. Uh, who knows how many... It looks like our, our finishing points are all going to be kind of around the same area on the map. Looks very, very hilly, which is probably going to mean I shall roll over many, many times. But there we go. Uh, loading times are about, you know, average for a game of this age. Uh, it's certainly not the worst, not the longest I've had to wait for a game to load up. Right, okay, this is interesting terrain we've got going on. Certainly haven't visited this part before. Uh-oh, we've already got a police car. I think there's probably going to be... I think they kind of add on one police car almost every objective you kind of get to. I'm not sure 
if there are, I think some are kind of around the place that you kind of activate if you go, if you happen to end up going near them, but there's a certain amount that can't be avoided. I believe anyway, again, this is just from my experience of the first few minutes, you see up there, we've got them kind of on the map, so if you can plan a route that doesn't involve going near them, don't think they get activated, but sometimes you've got to, because, well, this is where your objective point is. Oh, that didn't count? I'm disappointed that that did not, uh, did not quite count. Okay, run this way, please, truck. Um, we've got two angry, noisy, and surprisingly fast uh, police vehicles trying to give chase to us. Oh, Christ, the grip. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Was that, did you just run over the wildlife? God damn it. I was leaving them perfectly alive, and then you come along and splatter through them. At least I think that's what it was. Oh, crap, we're being carried towards the contraband. That's fine. Um... We've got a slight hill. I can see there's actually not too bad of a drive towards the next of my uh, drop-off points. Oh, crap. Rocks. Dodge the rocks. It's fine. Yeah, we do... I haven't had any of the really... Oh, Christ. I thought I was going to go between the trees and I completely and utterly missed. Uh, that was my bad very much so on that. Brakes. Oh, do we get a police car to lose a wheel? I think we can take out the police vehicles if we, if we are lucky. Or more like them take themselves out. Quite, no, I think they've got their wheels back again, which is disappointing. I did see one of them smoking, so I guess it is possible to just wipe them out. Well, I was trying to avoid the people. Oh, we're going to be broken. We're, we're, oh no. Our engine is stalled. We're under, well, I mean, that's one way to arrest us, I think. Just drive through and over and land on top of us. Uh, <laughs> well, that didn't quite go as amazingly to plan as I had, uh, as I had kind of hoped barreling down that uh, hill yeah it's been quite an, an interesting game to go and play a little bit repetitive on the mission front which is a bit of a shame surprisingly half decent and quite scary uh, ai <laughs> giving chase in their police cars despite you going well just about anywhere in the map to cause issues for them yeah they do a pretty good job of of keeping up I think I played 50p for this game, so absolutely nothing in terms of uh, of money, which is uh, it was worth it. I was glad glad I have uh, have had a play of it. Uh, hopefully, it's brought back some nostalgia for some of you who uh, who played this game uh, or whenever it was new. However, that is uh, going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.